body of the house. Amen. Apostle Albert. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we just rise and worship the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, just say thank you. Let's just give thanks to the Lord this evening. Let's give Him praise. Let's thank Him for another month, another great month that He has given unto us. Let's just bless the name of the Lord. The Lord has been faithful. He has watched over you. He has provided for you. He has sustained you through the month. Just give Him thanks. Just give Him all the praise. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank Him. Thank Him. Because the Lord has been good to you. He has been so good. He has been so good. He has supplied you with enough grace. He has supplied you with strength. He has provided for you this month. Let's just give him praise. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Let's worship him. Let's give him all the glory. Good Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for this beautiful month, Lord of October. Thank you for everything that you have done. Lord, it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by your spirit. We want to acknowledge even your presence in Lord everything. In everything that Lord has happened to us, Lord, this month. You have been present, O oh Lord. It's by your power. We want to say thank you. Thank you so much. We give you praise. That's why I am just honor the name of the Lord. Let's bless him. Let's worship him. The great I am that I am. The Lord God Almighty. The great one who sustains everything in place. Let's just praise him. Let's worship him this evening. Let's give him praise. We magnify your name. We worship you, O oh Lord. For you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The bright and mighty star, the ancient of days, the one who was and is and is to come, the great and mighty God. We worship you. We worship you. We give you all the praise. Oh, the Bashanta Kuria, the Ba. Reka tu sabra ti kede, the Bashanta Kuria. Let's take a deep and so to Kuria, the Ba. Lord, we praise you. We just give you all the praise. We magnify your name, O Lord. For there's none to be compared with you. Lord, O Lord, that we can compare with you. Lord, you are the Lord of all lords. We give you praise. We give you praise. We honor you tonight. We bless your name. We acknowledge, Lord, your presence here with us. Lord, we want to give you praise. We thank you so much. Lord, for your Holy Spirit that is Lord here tonight. Directing every affair, O Lord, of this meeting. We want to give you praise. We honor you. We bless your name, O Lord. Lord, even as we go into your word, we pray that, Lord, let your word, O Lord, be a blessing unto us in the name of Jesus. Let your word come forth with the power to heal, the power to transform, the power to change and help situations in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your word, O Lord, which is sharper than it went your sword, come against every plan of the enemy. Lord, God Almighty, against this, Lord, meeting, against, Lord, even this word, Lord, every plan of the enemy, let that do Lord world come against it, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Raise the standard, O Lord. Lord, even anywhere the enemy wants to come and implode, raise the standard against it. Raise the standard with your word, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We bless your holy name, O Lord. We magnify your name, and we worship you, O Lord. We say, Lord, be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. Without glorified. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You are all welcome to this night with your stroke. Uh, first of the 10th month's grand finale. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful, wonderful time uh, in His presence. Hallelujah. And I just thank God for what He's doing in our midst. Praise the name of the Lord. It's going to be a beautiful time in the presence of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to acknowledge all the pastors in the house. Pastor Marie, God bless you. Pastor Rosa, Pastor Martha, Pastor Oli, God bless you all. Hallelujah. The Lord will reward you for that work that you are doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He knows all your needs and will meet them. In the mighty name of Jesus, praise the name of the Lord. We welcome all the, the ministers in the house, praise the name of the Lord. Minister Arthur, Minister Noel, hallelujah, Minister Chris, hallelujah. God bless you as you minister unto the Lord. The Lord will continually 
release blessings upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He will uphold you, will strengthen you for the work that you are doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And to all the workers in the house, all the department heads, uh, the choir, the technical team, admin team, the Lord bless you for the work that you are doing. And it shall be, it will be a great reward from the Lord. Hallelujah. As he stretches forth his hand to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for all the angels that are around here. Hallelujah. They are in the new variable company of angels. The Bible says, it says what? The spirit of just men are here also. Let's put our hands together for them. Hallelujah. As they worship with us. Hallelujah. Even the Bible says Jesus is here. Are you not happy that Jesus is here with us? I am celebrating that Jesus is here. I'm in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's looking at me, looking upon you. Hallelujah. And you know that when his eyes is upon you, that means something is going to happen to you. Something good. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I just thank God for all that have done great work throughout this month of October to see that everything is going through all well. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God for your lives. And thank God for the prayers, even for the ministry. Prayers for, you know, on all sides. I just want to thank you. And I know that the Lord will richly, richly bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight I come in the spirit even of, uh, of, uh, that of Reverend Victor as he has come. He said the month of 11th or uh, the month of November is the 11th hour month. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what it's going to be for us because I've come with that message of anointing for fulfillment fulfillment someone say fulfillment. fulfillment fulfillment praise the name of the lord and when we are talking about fulfillment what are we talking about it says i just looked up the meaning it says the achievement of something desired promised or predicted hallelujah the achievement of what something desired promised or predicted hallelujah the achievement of it is fulfillment Praise the name of the Lord. So anything that you have been desiring right from the beginning of this year, it is going to be fulfilled in the month of what? Of, of November in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's our month of fulfillment. It is our month of fulfillment. Praise the name of the Lord. So those things that what you have been desiring, those things that have been promised you by God, those things that have been predicted and prophesied upon you, it says it shall come to pass. Because it's anointed for what fulfillment you are carrying into November. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those things that God has promised. Those things that have been spoken concerning you this year. They are coming to what pass in this month of November. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And you say, how do I know that? How do I know that? The Bible says, <laughs> God says himself. He says, whatever I say, he says what I will do. Whatever I say, I will do. Let's open to Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 28. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 28. If you can remain on uh, NIB. NIB. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 28. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's going to be a night what, of anointing of fulfillment. Because things, you just see things happening. Things happening in the month of what November. Those things that have been delayed. Those things that you have been denied. Those things that have been a disappointment right from January. You see them what coming to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You begin to receive appointments. You begin to receive what gifts that have been denied you. Praise the name of the Lord. The blessings that have been denied you by the enemy, you will begin to possess them in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore say to them, that is the, he's telling Ezekiel, this is what I say. He says, this is what the sovereign laws says. This is what the sovereign Lord says. None of my word will be what delayed any longer. That is what the Lord is saying. Any of his word that has been spoken concerning you will not be delayed. Will not be delayed. It's time up for any delay. He says, whatever I say will be what? Fulfilled. In the month of November, everything that the Lord has spoken concerning you will be fulfilled in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
I love one definition of fulfill that I saw. Fulfill, I love that definition. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope I'll be able to find it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It says, to do something that is what is expected, hoped for, or promised, or cause it to happen. To do something that what is hoped for, that is expected, for or promised. Hallelujah. Amen. Or to cause it to happen. And God is going to cause it to happen. Amen. Those things that have been held back. Those blessings that have been held back. Those appointments that have, you have missed. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to bring them and cause them to happen in the month of what? November. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Those expectations, they are going to come to pass in the month of what? November in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, whatever I say, whatever I say will be fulfilled. Declares what? The sovereign Lord. It's a word from God himself. And you know what the Bible says? Hallelujah. Let's look at Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. Numbers 23, verse 19. Amen. The Bible says, God can never lie. So if he says that what, whatever I say I will do, he can never lie. He will always do it. Hallelujah. He says, God is not a man that what he should lie, nor a son of man that what he should change his mind. He can never change his mind concerning you. He can never change his love concerning you. Praise the name of the Lord. He can never change his mind. He says what, does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not what? Fulfill. Does he promise and he will not cause it to happen? No way. He will cause it what to happen. If everything that what the enemy what has tried to hold back from you, the, the power of the Lord will what it will reverse it to them Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. They will they will be they will be taken out of the hands of the enemy. Oh it will be falling out of his hands because the Lord is the one going to cause it to happen. Amen. Praise the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's not the first time he spoke to it. It's not the only time that he said that whatever he will do, he will, he will, he will, he will, whatever he says he will do. Let us look at Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. Hallelujah. As we prepare to receive the anointing for fulfillment. Because as you walk through November, everything that has been delayed, everything that you have been denied, everything, every disappointment that you have gone through, they will change around. Praise the name of the Lord. They will change around. Whatever is holding them back will release them. He says, I am with you. This is with Jacob. He was talking to Jacob. This was when when Jacob slept, saw angels going up and down the ladder. And the Bible says, and the Lord was what at the top. And this is what he spoke to him. He says what? I am with you and I will watch over you wherever you go. That's what he's saying. In the month of November, the Lord is with you. He says, wherever you go, I will watch over you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will bring you back towards this land. That promise that what the Lord has given to you since that you have been expecting to happen is going to happen in the month of what? Of the month of November. He says, I will not leave you until I have done what I want have promised you. Amen. I will not leave you. That is the promise of God for you in this month of November. He says, as you enter it, he's not leaving you. He says, I will be with you wherever you go. I will watch over you wherever you go. And when God is watching you, you know that there's something going to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. That means you are shielded by the enemy. You are shielded by God. The arrows of the enemy will just be dropping down because the shield of God, you are under it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Nothing will, nothing will be able to harm you. Nothing will be able to harm you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Amen. Hmm, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why when we are talking about those promises, those, those things, those expectations, anything that he has promised that they are going to come to pass, just look at what God is saying. That, I mean, the word of God is saying. He says, not one of all. Right. Not one of all. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Not one of all. Your blessings that have been held back. Not one of all will be held back in the month of November. They will be released unto you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Not one of all the Lord's blessings, the Lord's good promises toward the house of what Israel failed. Not one. Not one promise failed. Everyone was what? Fulfilled. Everyone was caused to happen. Everyone was what? Achieve those things that were ach the achievements of what desires, hope, expectation. Everything was what it, it came to pass. Everything came to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. So everything that God has spoken, all these promises concerning you, they will come to pass because none of them will fail. Amen. Not one promise that He has made will fail. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, which one of those promises uh, are you been expecting? That you are still saying, ah, the month is almost coming to, the year is almost coming to an end. Though. It hasn't happened. It's going to happen for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Under the power of fulfillment, Amen. it will happen for you. Amen. It will happen for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And why are we talking about fulfillment tonight? Why are we talking about fulfillment? Because this thing is very important too. Because when you see what the Bible says, Proverbs chapter 13 verse 19. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 19. Look at what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 19. It says, longing, a longing fulfilled is what? Sweet to the soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody's soul is going to be sweet. Amen. It's going to be sweet throughout this month of November. It says, a longing that is fulfilled is sweet to what? Your soul. Hallelujah. Just leave the second one because it's not our portion. Praise the name of the Lord. A longing that is fulfilled. Ah! He it says, it's sweet to the soul. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's just like a mother that just been longing to have that baby. Ha, when the baby comes, it's so sweet yes. to the soul. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Or when you are driving home and you are thinking of the food that has been prepared. Somebody has said, I'm preparing this. Ah! You, when you get to home like this, you just take that food. Yeah. yeah. Your soul. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Sweet. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Says a longing that is fulfilled. You are expecting somebody, a visitor. Maybe it is just your brother or sister coming from somewhere. You are expecting that. Person. When the person arrives, you know, ah, everywhere is just sweet. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. A longing that was is fulfilled. Yes. It's sweet to the soul. It is sweet to the soul. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's why we are talking about it tonight because. It is good to have a sweet soul. That's what we want for the month of November. Yes. That all of us have a sweet soul in the month of November. And I know God is going to do it for Amen. us. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because every longing will be fulfilled. Amen. Every longing, every expectation will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every promise will be released unto you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. All your desires. The Bible says he will grant you all the desires of your heart. All the desires of your heart. And so will it be. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. As he's granted them, your soul is being sweetened. Amen. Sweetened. Sweetened. Amen. You have a sweet soul Amen. in this month of November. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise him. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 22. Now let's look at what that sweet soul is going to do for your body. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 22. Proverbs 17 and verse 22. It says what? A cheerful heart. Is what medicine. is good medicine. Hallelujah. But a cross spirit drives the bone. Amen. That is what we are going to relate. Cheerful heart. Because our soul, when it's sweetened, is cheerful. cheerful. Hallelujah. Then it becomes medicine Amen. to your body. Amen. Medicine to your body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that means you will not be sick in the month of November. Amen. You will be in good health in the month of November. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 13. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 13. Hallelujah. We'll be going through a lot of scriptures today, so just take note. He says, a happy heart. Oh, hallelujah. He says, makes the face what? Cheerful. That's what I want to see in the month of November. No face that is tightened. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, we want to see what? Happy heart that will make your face what? Cheerful. There will be smiles all around. You'll be smiling. You talk to people who say, why are you smiling? No, it's because what? My heart has been what? All my longings have been what? Fulfilled. 
Hallelujah. Amen. You just see your face, what? In my own says, what? It very hard to make it a cheerful countenance. Mm -hmm. When they see you, ah, this person is different. Mm -hmm. In all this trouble, all this price rise and everything, yes. he's still smiling. Yes. Why? Because your heart, your heart is happy. Amen. And that is what it's going to be. Amen. Praise the name of Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. A merry heart will he give unto you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As I am speaking, I'm prophesying that he will give you a merry heart. Amen. A merry heart. Amen. A merry heart. Amen. In the, in the month of November, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Long days will be fulfilled yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is it that you have been longing for? He says it's going to be fulfilled in the month of November, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know if your heart is even, if your heart is even broken now. The, the Lord says I can mend it. Yes. I can mend it. Yes. Psalm, let's look at Psalm 147 verse 3. What, Psalm 147 verse 3. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, I can heal it. That heart. Hallelujah. No matter how broken it is. He says, I can heal it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he wants to make that heart what? Merry. He says, he heals the broken hearted. And he binds up what? Their wounds. So even the broken hearted, God is able to heal. Thank even if the heart is broken, even at this point, he says, I'm able to heal it. Thank you, Praise Thank the name you. of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm able to heal it and make it. Mary. I'm not just going to heal it, but I'm going to make it merry. Amen. Because I'm going to what? Those long kings are going to be what? Released. Amen. Fulfilled. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what about fulfillment? What, what is the power that brings fulfillment? Praise the name of the Lord. One of those things, we are going to start looking at, but I want to just talk about this one, is about what we say. What we say. What are you saying? What are you saying? Because when you wake in the morning and you say, Oh, my head is all on fire or something. It's going to, be, it's going to wake. That's how your head is going to be in 40, 40 because there's power in the tongue. Like yes. if you speak about the tongue, yes. there's life and death in it. Right. If you wake up and you speak life, you receive life. If you wake up and speak death, it's not our portion, but death will come mm -hmm. in any area. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So there's power in the tongue. Our tongue can pull everything that has been held back. It can pull it into, into existence. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. After the angel had visited what? Mary. <laughs> Look at what she said. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. The angel has said, and the Holy Ghost will come upon you and you will give back to a child. And his name shall be called Jesus Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This thing looks so strange to us. Ah, this one, how can I become a, a, a mother? When I haven't even slept with my husband, I haven't, there's nothing going on. Praise the name. How can I become a what? A mother. But look at what she said. Because of the faith that she has said, I, verse 38, I am the Lord's servant. Mary answer. Mm. May it be unto me as what? You have said. <laughs> May it be unto me as what you have, you have said. said. Then the angel was left her. Because he knew he got the right answer. Uh -huh. May it be unto me as you have what said. said. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that is the power of the tongue. You can use it to call forth everything that has been held back. Hallelujah. You call it forth. That's why you pray tonight and bring them what into existence. Whatever, wherever they are hiding, you uproot them. Hallelujah. Uproot them. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In NIV, NIV in my own, it says, my, it says, may your word to me be fulfilled. Hmm. May your word to me be what? Fulfilled. Fulfilled. May it be caused to happen. May it be caused to happen. And so will it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now we're going to look at what? Fulfillment. How do we bring about fulfillment? We talked about one day. We say power of the tongue. One thing that God, the way God fulfills Every uh, his promises, his prophecies, and everything is by remembrance. Mm. When God remembers you, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Amen. When God remembers you, those things that have been held back, they will begin to drop down. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They begin to what? 
drop down. That's number one. By remembrance. That's how God brings about fulfillment. By remembrance. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis chapter 11, chapter 41. Genesis chapter 41 and verse 9 to 13. Genesis chapter 41 and verse 9 to 13. We're talking about Joseph. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, Then the chief, God bearer, says to Pharaoh, Today, I have been what? Reminded of my shortcomings. Joseph was the one that interpreted and said, Copiera, he had Copiera had a dream in the prison. Mm. Joseph says, I, he, when he told Joseph, Joseph said, ah, don't worry. When you are, you know, when you are released, the man, I mean, Pharaoh will restore you and he'll give you that cup to give to him. Mm. No problem. Then the baker, the what's the other one? The, the, um, baker, yeah. eh? baker. no, it's baker, the, the, yeah. there's Copiera and baker, yeah. So the baker said, I have to have a dream. Oh, this one said, so he said, he gave it to Joseph. Joseph said, when you are released, oh, sorry, oh, three days, you are going to be what? Be dead. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But this copier, when he was released, before he went, Joseph said, Remind, remember me. Oh. Yeah. Remember me. When, 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 when I told this thing that I've told you now, when, name. just mention my name. Remember me <laughs> when you go out. But you forgot. But he forgot. But at this time of, of the king celebrating, he says, wow, I've remembered somebody that, because the king dreamt, mm. and there was nobody to interpret it. Then he said, ah, I remember Joseph in the prison. The Lord will remember you. Amen. In the month of November, you will be remembered. Amen. Because remembrance will bring all those things that have been delayed. It will bring it to pass. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The position of Joseph that has been delayed for how many years? For how many years? It was by this remembrance that he came to what to government. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so will it be for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Genesis chapter 6, verse 17. Bible talks about what? And God remembered Noah. And God remembered Noah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God remembered Noah. Praise God. Because it came to that time that the, the rain had fallen 40 days, 40 nights, everything was going on. The, what God said to Noah, it didn't look like it was going to happen. Because Noah was seeing water. He looked out everywhere, water, water, water. What is going on? God said that he's going to save me and my family. But it didn't happen. It wasn't happening. It didn't look like happening. But when God remembered Noah, something happened. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And all the wild stocks and were with him in the ark, set a wind over the earth, and the water was receded. Hallelujah. Gen uh, Genesis chapter seven, um, 17, you go on to 18, 19, you will see what I'm talking about. Praise the name of the Lord. We are, we are looking at uh, Ezekiel there. It is, it's Genesis, I said. Genesis chapter 6, 17, and to 22. He says, I am going to, uh, seven, okay, Genesis, this is where he said he's going to bring the flood when he was talking to uh, Noah. He says, I'm going to bring flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens. Every creature that has, every, uh, that has the breath of life in it, everything on earth will perish. Okay, go on, quickly, let's go through. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you will enter the ark, you all and your sons, and your wife and your son's wives with you. 19. You have to bring the, into the ark all the living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with, with you. He says, two of every kind bird, every kind of animal, every kind of creature uh, that moves along the ground with, will come to you and be kept alive. That is God saying to you are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you and for them. Go on. And then Noah did everything just as what? God commanded him. But it was raining 40 days, 40 nights. He never, nothing happened. Genesis chapter 8, verse 1. Let us quickly look. Genesis chapter 8 and verse 1. It had rained 40 days, 40 nights. But when it came to this point, he says, But God was. And all the wild animals and livestock. He didn't remember Noah alone. He remember all the wild, all the animals and livestock that were with him in the ark. And he sent the wind what, over the earth and the waters what, receded. All those things that are holding your blessings, 
right from the beginning of this year, God will send a wind on them. God will send a wind on them and they will be released. They will be released in the name of Jesus. Anything that is holding them back will receive in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Same thing with Anna. The Bible says, and God remembered her. When she was, she, she had prayed, she had done everything. Even the man of God said, you look you drunk and everything. She said, no, I'm just praying for a child. The man of God spoke a word. And the Bible says they went home and the husband lay with her. And what happened? And God remembered her. Mm-hmm. And God remembered That thing that has been delayed. How many years? Penina has showed up pepper in the house. Penina has, has, has done, I mean, I mean the, has mocked her in every way. Yeah. But what happened? God remembered her. That is why he, that's how he fulfilled what he was, what he promised concerning her. Praise the name of the Lord. So by remembrance is what he fulfills. By remembrance, he fulfills his word, he fulfills his promises, he fulfills anything, his prophecies concerning us. Praise the name of the Lord. Another one is by the word of God. A word from God. Just a word. And somebody's going to receive a word from God in this month of November. You will hear that from behind you will be hearing. God will be telling you this is what you're supposed to do to release this. Amen. To release that thing that has been hooked behind. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 19. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 19. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 19. Because God is going to what? He's going to fulfill all his promises to us. All those things that have been held back, they are coming into fulfillment in the name of Jesus. In the month of November, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hagar, Hagar chapter 2 and what? Verse 19. Now, he was talking to the children of Israel through Hagar, and he says, is there yet any seed left in the barn? Until now, the vine and the fig tree, the pomegranate. I don't know how to pomegranate. Pomegranate, is it? Okay. And the olive tree have not borne fruit. Uh-uh. Something is wrong here, isn't it? Something is wrong. Something has been wrong. But he says what? From this day, it's a word from God. It's a word from God. From this day, I will what? Bless me. Receive a word from God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And everything what will come to pass. Because it reversed everything that was happening there. The, the trees that were not bearing fruit. I will bless you from this day. Everything started bearing fruit. Hallelujah. Everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A word from God. <coughs> a word from God will help you through. Will help you through this month of November. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you need it to go for fulfillment. Because when God speaks to you, He's fulfilling what He has promised you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says He will not leave us. He will not, he will not forsake us. He says victory is our portion. So all those things, when He speaks to us, He's bringing, speaking to us to bring those things to pass in our lives. To pass. Just the way He spoke to Jehoshaphat. Joseph, let's see 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 13. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 13. Hallelujah. Amen. All his promises concerning you, he will bring to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. None shall be delayed. None shall be delayed. The enemy will try. I'm not saying the enemy will not try, but he won't, he won't succeed. It's verse 13. He says what? All the men of Judah, with their wives and children and little ones, stood there before the Lord because they heard that an army has surrounded them, is coming to you know fight with them. So all the, all of them with Jehoshaphat, because Jehoshaphat was very afraid. He said all of them stood there before the Lord. Okay, verse 14 quickly. He says, Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jahaziel, son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, and the son of Jael, the son of Matan, Levite, descendant of Asherah, as he stood in the same assembly. Praise the name of the Lord. So the word of God. Somebody is going to be used mightily. In the name of Jesus. In the month of November. The spirit of God is going to use you mightily. 
in the mighty name of Jesus for deliverance for what breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, then the Spirit of the Lord came up. Let's go 14, 15, quickly. He said, listen, King Jehoshaphat, all of them that were afraid, say, listen, this is what God is saying. All who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord is saying. Do not what, be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. He says, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 16, tomorrow, mark down against them, they will be climbing up by paths. He's really revealing secrets to them. Mm -hmm. Secrets that they would have never known. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But he's giving them what secrets of where those people that were coming to delay them in their progress. He was giving them their secrets. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, and you will find them at the end of the God of the desert of Jerusalem 17. He says what? You will not take, you will not have to fight this battle. He says, take up your position, stand firm, see the deliverance of the Lord will give you in the land, in that land. He says, oh Judah and Jerusalem, do not what be afraid and do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be what? With you. Go out and face every, every attack of the enemy, go out and face it. The Lord is the one going to fight for you and you will get victory. Because they won in this one. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will fight for you. Amen. He will fight for you in the month of what? Amen. In the month of uh, November. Amen. He will speak to you as to what to do, when, how to go about it, how to win your battles. He will speak to you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How to take back everything that the enemy has stolen. He will speak to you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we go on to number three. Faith and your spoken word. Faith and your spoken word. Faith and your spoken word. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. Faith and your spoken word. That's what brings about fulfillment. Faith and your spoken word. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. Being confident. This is Paul saying. He says being confident of this. That who began what? A good work in you will carry it what to completion until the day what of christ anything that god begins he will complete it nothing can hold it back he says being he says i am confident that's what he's telling you and be confident in the month of november that whatever god says he has started in the month in their since uh, this beginning of this year it will come it will be completed before the year ends it will be completed in the mighty name of jesus Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of your mouth. We have talked about it. Very, very important. Praise the name of the Lord. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 46. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 46. You see what David said to Goliath. Very, very important. No matter how much the challenge may be, no matter how much the delay may be, speak a word. Speak a word. And the Lord will back it up in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak a word. He says, this day, the Lord will what? Hand you over to me, and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. Tiny man. Tiny man like this. And he was talking to what? A giant. A giant. He says, and I'll cut off your head. Today, I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds of what the air. Even it's the whole army he was talking about. He was not even talking about uh, 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 Goliath alone. The whole army, he says, I'll give them what? To the birds of the air and the beasts of what? The earth. And to the whole world, we know that what there is a God in Israel. Yes. Amen. That is somebody that is confident that whatever God started, He will complete. Yes. What He has promised, he, Abraham, his, father, his grandfather, the great grandfather, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, He's going to complete it. Amen. David said, "No way! You are just what you are. You want to be what you want to deny us of our promise. You want to delay our promise. No way! No way! He spoke a word, and God." brought it to pass. He was able to kill uh, that giant. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Same thing with Jabez. Jabez said, it's enough. It's enough. This delay, this delay, everything that is not working in my life. My, uh, the, uh, that name, Jabez. Is it not pain? I think it was pain, isn't it? Pain, sorrow. Everything is, it was a good, everything was going, being good, everything was going well, but, but there was pain, sorrow everywhere. But he says, no, stop. Stop. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Jabez, let us look at First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A word spoken. A word spoken can reverse every delay. He says, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. So he has named him pain because you gave birth to me. And pain was following him all around. All around. Verse 10. Jabez said, no way. He says, Jabez cried out to the Lord. He says, God of Israel, oh, that you would bless me. Ha, let this be your prayer in the month of November. He says, oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. I'm supposed to have a large territory. What is causing all the problem? Pain and sorrow. No, bless me. And at my what? Uh, 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 enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Straight away because he spoke it to God. He, he spoke to God and God granted him his request. As you speak in the month of November, as you speak in faith, the Lord will grant it to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you speak in faith to recover all those things that the enemy has stolen, yes. the Lord will grant it to you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The woman with the issue of blood, the same thing, Luke chapter 8, we won't talk about it too much. She said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, bam, miracle will happen. Yes. Because she acted upon what she was thinking. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In faith, in faith, it will bring so much. Her life had been delayed. All the things of her life delayed how many years? 12 good years. She was suffering from what uh, 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 the issue of blood. Mm. Suffering with it. every doctor, everybody had done everything, but it wasn't working. Mm. It wasn't working. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But just by the thought of it and acting on it by faith, bam, miracle. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So speak faith. Speak faith. Speak faith in the month of November. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. If you are still talking about that, you talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Praise the name of the Lord. That's in Daniel chapter 3. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They say, no way. We are not going to serve this God that you are telling us. No way. No way. If God, is, if, he doesn't even, if he doesn't even deliver us, let it be. Let it be. Speaking in faith. And what happened? They threw them in the fire. Praise the name of the Lord. I even read that when they threw them in the fire, they were bound. A lot of people think they were just thrown in the fire. No, they were bound in the fire. Yeah. And the man said, Ah, when, he, when the children in the fire and the fire, the man said, Ah, do I not see what four people walking around loosed? Loosed. <laughs> because of faith. Loosed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And God will loosen all those things that have been yeah. held by the enemy. Yeah. Where he has tied it. It will lose. All those things that he has used to tie, they will loosen. Yeah. And your, your, your blessings will be released to you yeah. in the month of October. Yeah. Anywhere he's hiding them, anything that he has used to tie them up, they will loosen yeah. as you speak yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Number four is divine visitation. By divine visitation, we have talked about that already. We talked about Mary receiving a divine visitation for fulfillment. It has been spoken that Jesus is coming but for divine, it took a divine visitation by God for that word to be fulfilled. For that word to be fulfilled. Unto us what a child is born, unto us what a son is given. Hallelujah. But it took what a divine visitation for it in the New Testament for it to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Peter was released from prison. The same thing. Peter released from prison. Acts chapter 12, 6. Acts chapter 12 and verse 6 to 10. Acts chapter 12 verse 6 to 10. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Divine visitation. He says the night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping in between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. They were all guarding. <laughs> they thought everything is okay. He's just okay. We'll be there till tomorrow. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. Oh, suddenly angels are going to appear for you. In the month of, of, of November, 
in the mighty name of Jesus. You will have sudden visitations, sudden visitations, sudden visitations to release, to release you, to release all those word blessings that have been all tied down. Sudden visitation. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said. And the chains fell off Peter's wrist. Chains fell off. Chains fell off. Without even that's divine visitation. Everything that has been held back, I say, the chains are going to just fall off. Nice. Fall off. Nice. The enemy is in trouble nice. because he thinks he has got he has got everything tied up. No, those chains will just be falling off. Nice. Falling off. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nice. He says, then the angel said to him, put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap you, uh, wrap your cloak around you, uh, and follow me. Uh, the angel told him, verse nine. Peter followed him out of prison, but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. Peter didn't even believe. Peter was thinking, ah, how is this possible? I was bound, and then chains are falling. I'm walking. How is it possible? But yes, it was. It was happening. You know, he thought he was what seeing a vision. He thought he was seeing a vision because it's going to be miraculous. He says, they passed at the first, uh, first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself. By itself. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as you speak, things will be opening up for you. Amen. Doors will be opening up for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By itself. And they went through it. When they had walked the length of the street, suddenly the angel was left in because they had finished his job. Mm. And so will it be for you. Amen. Sudden visitations. Amen. Divine favor is the next one. Divine favor. By divine favor. Praise the name of the Lord. John chapter 5 and from verse 5. By divine favor. That's how fulfillment comes. That's how fulfillment comes. By divine favor. He says sometime later, Jesus went up. Okay, one who was there had been what? Invalid for 38 years. That was at the pool of Bethesda. Praise the name of Hallelujah. the Lord. They were all there. The Bible says there was a crowd there. There was a crowd of people. And they were waiting for just, when the angel just touches the water, the first person. Mm. The first person to go in is the person that will get healed. The first person. How many of them uh, they, were, they were waiting? But this man, he was there, he had been there 38 years. And what happened? Verse 7, uh, 6. When Jesus, no, 6. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, for a long time, he wasn't, he was not expecting anything, but Jesus saw him there. And Jesus paid attention to it. Jesus will pay attention to you Amen. in the month of October Amen. and November in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will get the attention of Jesus in the month of November Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's divine favor because he was among many, but he struck a chord with what Jesus Christ. And he says, long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Okay, verse 7. Verse 7. Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me. He was still thinking that, how is this what? How am I going to get him? This man is just talking. When I'm waiting for the angel, don't distract me because the angel may come now like, oh, please. He says, no one to help me into the pool where the water is there. While I am trying to get him, someone else goes down ahead of me. Huh? He says, I am trying. Every day I try, I try, I try. Then Jesus said to him, you don't even need this water. What is this water I'm talking about? Please just get up, pick up what your mat and walk. And what happened? When you had at once, boom, the man was what cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which he was took uh, which this took place was what Sabbath. That was the Pharisees' problem. That's not our problem. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. That the, the thing that happened, he says, immediately what? Without even once. the water doing degrading, without without the water doing anything, bam, he was able to walk. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's divine favor, divine favor, and you will receive divine favor Amen. in the month of November. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. because it brings about fulfillment. 
God says, I will heal you. And that is that man's healing coming. Without even him, he was waiting for water to go. But Jesus has he met. Divine favor. Amen. Divine favor. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another one of divine favor is Daniel in the den. Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6 and verse 21. Fulfillment. Daniel chapter 6 and verse 21. Huh. Praise God. Daniel answered. After they have thrown him into the lion's den, the king had gone, tried to sleep. He couldn't sleep because he was, ah, did I make a mistake? I shouldn't have thrown this man. This man didn't do anything. No. Then he came early in the morning. He, as after throwing Daniel into the den, a lion's den, he came early in the morning. Oh, Daniel, where are you? The, this is what Daniel answered. Daniel answered the king. He says, O oh, king, live forever. Okay. My God sent his angel. Oh, God. Hallelujah. What a divine favor you see. My God sent his angel. And he shut the mouth of what? The lions. The mouth of the lion will be shut for you. Amen. In the month of November. In the name of Jesus. The mouth of the lion that is supposed to devour the thing. Oh, God. He will shut it in the name of Jesus. Amen. There shall be no loss. No loss in the month of November. He says, they have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, O king. But the king, then the king was overjoyed and gave orders, leave Daniel out of the dead. Hallelujah. Praise. He wanted to delay his destiny. Straight away. Straight away. By what? By divine favor. He, 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 he put, the, his destiny was what? Restored. Restored. Hallelujah. They wanted to deny him what God had planned for him, but it was restored. And when Daniel was lifted out of death, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. Are you trusting God this morning? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 24. Then look what the king did. And the king's command, and the king's at, at the king's command, the men who had what falsely accused what Daniel, Daniel was brought in and thrown into what the lion's dead, along with their wives and children. Hallelujah. That's the suffering of the enemies. That's what they are going to suffer. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You will be spared, they will be killed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He says, and therefore, they reach the floor of the dead. And before they reach the floor of the dead, the lion will overpower them and crush all their bones. The same lion that was shut their mouth overnight. Overnight. This is one second. Though. Overnight, they shut their mouth for what Daniel. Praise the name of the Lord. Divine favor. Divine favor. Praise the name of the Lord. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those things will be fulfilled. Blessings. All those things that have been held back, they are being released yeah. in the month of November. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lastly, is what is called proper time. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody there is a proper time. Proper there is a proper time. Yes, there are some things that we ask from God, but it's not the proper time. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the proper time. But when the proper time comes, it will, what? It will come to pass. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When the proper time comes, it will what? come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. Oh, hallelujah. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Let us not become what? Weary of doing good. Why are we coming weary of doing good? Ah, this person, I don't even know. I'm just helping. I'm helping. Nothing. Not, I'm not being paid. I'm not doing this. No, hey, God. Don't become what? Weary of what? Doing good. Just continue doing the good. That's what he's trying to say. Don't become what? Weary of doing good. Ah, I'm tired. You know, I can't. This drum that is there, I should drum every day. I'm tired. Don't become what? Weary of doing good. Because in doing that good, he says what? For at the proper time. Oh, they say, there is a proper time for what God fulfilling something concerning you. Yes. He says, for at the proper time, we will reap what we have if we do not what give up. Some people have, they are about to reap that harvest. The proper time is just round the corner. 
I can't do again. I'm tired. I'm leaving. The proper time is still there. Proper time. There's proper time for everything to be fulfilled concerning you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Proper time. I pray that you receive the blessings of the Lord. Every good thing from the Lord, it will come to you in the proper time. Amen. In the proper time. Amen. Sometimes time, some things come in the wrong time. And it is very dangerous. Praise the name of the Lord. But in the proper time, when it comes, you will reap a harvest. Say when you will reap a harvest. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. After verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. Still talking about what? A proper time. A proper time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. It says there is what? A time for what? Everything. A season for what? Every activity under heaven. There is a season for every activity under heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So there's a time for everything and there's a season for what? Every activity. It's not everything that you have to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not everything that you have to participate in. No. Praise. There's a season and there's a time for everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we look at what this is. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 11 is saying. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 11. He has made what? Everything beautiful was in its time. It is its time. That time. Oh Lord, I need this, I need that, I need this. He's not answering. It's not time. In its time, it will come. In its time, it will come. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he makes all things beautiful. In its time. It's time. Because if he makes it beautiful outside of his time, it won't it, 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 it won't make any impact. It won't have any impact. People will not notice it. Praise the name. But when it comes in its time, it will be of good, great impact. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. 5 and 6. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. 5 and 6. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoever obeys his command will come to no harm. And a wise heart will know the proper time word and procedure. As I say, there is a proper time for everything. So it is with God. God has what? A proper time for everything. Praise the name of the Lord. So be patient. If those things are not happening, we, we be patient. We still have what? November? We still have what? December. But I tell you in November, all shall be what fulfilled. Amen. Because it's a month of fulfillment. Yes, a month of fulfillment. Verse 6. It says verse 6. For there is what? A proper time and a proper procedure for every word matter. Though a man's misery weighs it heavily upon him. Praise the name of the Lord. There's a proper time. There's a what? And proper procedure for every matter. For every matter. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And any matter that concerns you, the Lord has a proper time for it. And a proper, and a proper procedure. How to bring it about. In the mighty name of Jesus. We'll end with this one, Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 6 and 7. Jeremiah chapter 8, 6, 6 and 7. Jeremiah chapter 8, 6 and 7. I have listened attentively, but they do not say what is right. Hmm? No one repents of his wickedness, saying, what have I done? That is God speaking he says, each pursues his own cause like a horse charging into battle. Mm. Don't pursue your own hustle. Mm. In the, in, in, pursue God's hustle. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. When it comes to what? November, this ending of this year, make sure you are pursuing the things of God. Seek you first what? The kingdom of God. And what? <coughs> his righteousness. Yes. Not just the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all things shall be what added unto you.
That's what God was telling them there. Verse 7. Let's see what it says. Because there's the way that they should do, but they are not doing. Verse 7, quickly. It says, even the stock in the sky knows her appointed what? Seasons. And the dove and the swift and the thrush observe the time of their migration. Do you know what the Bible is saying there? Have you ever seen these birds? A certain time they migrate. They, every year, they fly that fly every year, go this way. Yes. When they come, next, when the time of that year comes back to go back, come they come back. Mm -hmm. Without anybody telling them, they know the word proper time. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He says, even the stock, even the birds of the air, observe the time of what? Their migration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, but my people do not know the requirements what? of the Lord. Lord. Please, I beg you, take time to study his word so that you know what? The requirements of God. As you study, God is meeting your needs. Mm -hmm. All those things that have been delayed. He says the birds even, they know the time to go, the time to return, the time to, every year if you go to that position, you see them, they are going or they are returning. Praise the name of the Lord. They know the time. Nobody has to tell them, birds, oh, it's time to over your migration now. No. They just know it. And they go by it. Pam, pam. So also we should know the word of God. Go by it. And God will bless us in that. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's your month of fulfillment too. In the month of November. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's rise up and just pray prayers. Hallelujah. We're going to ask God to remember us. Because there's a fulfillment. In doing his fulfillment. In bringing things to pass. He remembers. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's ask God to remember us. In this month of November. As we enter this month of November. There will be what? Remembrance. Remembrance, remembrance. God will remember us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and talk to the Lord. Remember me. Remember my family members. Remember my brothers, my sisters, my family. Just remember. Remember us, Lord, in the month of November, in the name of Jesus. As you remember us, Lord, those things that have been held back, those things that we have been denied, those disappointments that we have faced, Lord, Lord God Almighty, let them change. Let them change round. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has been delayed, let them be released. All our denials, let there be acceptance in the name of Jesus. Every disappointment, let it be turned to appointments in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember us. Remember every member of Foundation Ministries in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's hear, let's say, Lord, open my ears to hear from you. Because we say a word of God. A word from the Lord can change every situation. Lord, open our ears that we may hear you. That we may hear you clearly in the month of November. Speak to us. Lord, speak to us in a new way. In the name of Jesus, let us hear your word. Your word that can deliver. Your word that can change. Lord, let it be Lord clear in hearing to us in the month of November. In the name of Jesus. Let's hear your word clearly in the month of November. Anything that wants to distract us. Lord God Almighty, from hearing your word. We say let it be uprooted from our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, even as we hear your word. Give us that ability to obey. Give us that ability to act upon it. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to ask God to what divinely visit us, and what as the divine visit us, we receive divine favor. Divine visit, divine favor. Divine visit, divine favor. In the month of November, let this be our portion in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. If you want to receive a divine visitation, talk to the Lord tonight. Say, visit me, Lord. Visit me, visit me. Visit me, Lord. As you visited Mary, visit me. So as you sent angels to visit Mary, visit me. As you sent angels to visit, oh Lord, the mother of Samson, visit me in the name of Jesus. Makina Vashanta Kuria, visit me as you visit that man. Lord, at the pool of Bethsaida, in the name of Jesus. Marikataya Vashanta Kuria, Lesakata, visit, oh Lord, divine visitation, divine favor. As you visit, let there be divine favor in the name of Jesus. I receive favor on every side in the name of Jesus. Makila Vashanta Kuria, as you visit, every delay, every 
denial, every disappointment, Lord, will be turned around in the name of Jesus. It will bring joy. Your visitation will bring joy. Your visitation will bring peace in our lives, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to talk about the proper time. Proper time. Proper time needs patience because the time that we are thinking about is not the proper time of time. So we are going to ask the Lord to grant us that grace for patience. Grace for patience. Grace for patience. For the proper time, Lord, we receive that grace. Tonight we receive that grace from you. Lord, for the proper time, to be able to wait. Wait upon you. You said those who wait upon you, you renew their strength. So no matter how long we need to wait, you are renewing our strength. To wait upon you for the proper time, we receive that grace. To wait upon you. Rakatai alabashanta kuria. Leseke alabashanta kuria. Lord, we receive that grace. I receive that grace, O oh Lord. You will not be out of every member of foundation ministry. Let it flow, Lord, towards each and every member. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Go forth, enjoy your month of what? Fulfillment. Because all that God has spoken concerns you, it will be fulfilled. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.